It's been a long road for Louis Estime, a Haitian refugee, to finally reach his goal, the US border. His five-year odyssey has taken him through the Dominican Republic, Bolivia, Peru, Colombia, and the entire length of Central America and Mexico, before reaching the California border at Tijuana. He may be resilient, but he doesn't qualify for US asylum, and is now faced with the reality of remaining in Mexico. Before, we would have tried to enter the US illegally, but now, we are going to stay in Mexico and try to build a better life. This is a good place, much better than my country, where it's very dangerous. He's by no means the only Haitian to choose to settle here. For many migrants hoping to reach America but frustrated by the US asylum system, this city becomes their next best option. Indeed, the Haitian community is well established here, a vital factor in the decision among new arrivals to remain. And while he's willing to stay, his legal papers to remain in the country are another issue. Mexico may have pledged asylum status to Haitian refugees waiting along the length of the border, but in practice the papers are hard to attain. Sandra Benavente runs Tijuana's main migrant shelter for Haitian arrivals and says while this community has been welcomed to the city, the authorities need to do more. Things became very complicated if they have entered the country illegally because when they reach the U.S. border, they can't identify themselves officially, apply for asylum or even get a job. And while the Mexican government says it works to give them national ID numbers for those things, in practice it doesn't happen. Sandra's migrant aid organization estimates it takes Mexico's immigration services an average of nine months to process and grant a Haitian migrant's asylum application. That's a problem for those here who are looking to settle in the city. If we can't work, we can't achieve a better life. We are waiting on our documents to be able to work. That's the problem. With or without papers, Louis and his fellow Haitians say they will remain in Mexico. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Tijuana, Mexico.